The Colts will play their next three games on the road. The first of those is this weekend at Tennessee. It's uh, quickly become a very important game for the Colts after losing their first two. But as Brad Brown shows us, there are still some big questions about the Colts lineup for Sunday. When we last saw Carson Wentz, he was having to sit out a crucial final drive in Sunday's loss to the Rams. As practice resumed on Wednesday, Wentz remains sidelined. His status for this Sunday up in the air. A lot of unknown. See how my body responds and doing everything we can. Uh, each day's shoot, each couple hours it's gotten better. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of see how it continues to progress and listen to the doctors, listen to uh, my body and see, what, see where we're at. I have a general rule, you know, as far as when a guy has to practice to play. It's not absolutely, you know, etched in stone. We kind of do it case by case. Um, generally speaking, that rule is, you know, you got to practice Friday but we have made exceptions to that rule in the past. Wentz has already returned from one injury setback this summer, three weeks out for foot surgery during training camp. So this pair of ankle sprains, the right one worse than the left, is getting extra attention in the days to come. As competitors, you never want to worry about an injury. You never want to worry about, um, you know, if I do this, you don't want to second guess yourself out there. But at the same time, you want to be smart. You want to be smart. You want to be available. Um, you want to be out there with your guys. So, so it's a constant analyze uh, analysis every every game. On the other side of the ball, the Colts defense will face another strong task this week. Tennessee is full of playmakers, including running back Derrick Henry, who has given the Colts fits over the years. Henry had 35 carries for 183 yards and three touchdowns last Sunday in a Titans win. With him, he's strong, so you you really got to, like, punch that thing down and do it another time and then maybe maybe try to get other guys like looking hey come help me out come help me out you know what I'm saying like I'm over here slapping his hand now somebody got to come run you know so we just got to make sure that we on our P's cues like I said and take care of it you know their go-to is just handing it to 22 so uh, we got to do a good job you know from the start to finish um you know just hammering 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 out the run um because they're going to keep going to it you know what I mean and I mean that's their bread and butter so we just got to make sure that we continue to hit out hit them an 0-2 start is tough, but there is an extra game on this season's schedule. But if the Colts find themselves 0-3 after this Sunday, things could unravel pretty quickly after that. We just have to approach the week like we're 2-0. Um, yeah, it's a big game, but uh, we just, that's the mindset that we have to have, you know what I mean? You can't let this thing snowball, you know, into going to 0-3, 0-4, 0-5, or whatever. I mean, we got the right guys, you know, in the building to turn this thing around. For now, the Colts are a five-point underdog for Sunday's matchup at Tennessee. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.